So this is going to be a quick video on how to set the timing on a 22 RE. Um, the truck that I'm working on is a 94 Toyota Extended Cab 22 RE. Uh, this should be pretty simple. I didn't really see any videos explaining all of the steps, so I figured I'd make a quick one to explain it because it's super easy, but unless you've done it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your truck warmed up, uh, whether that's idling in the uh, driveway or, or just take it quick for a quick drive. Um, once you get it uh, warmed up and the idle kind of drops down a little bit, you're going to want to jumper your ports. Uh, I think on the the uh, the 22R, it's on the other side of the engine bay. This is on the left side by your fuses. Um, you're going to be jumping the TE1 and the E1 ports, which are basically the middle one here and the upper right one. Um, when you do this, the idle should drop. Um, so we'll see what happens here. And there it just dropped. Uh, the check engine light should be flashing as well. We'll check that out right now. And as you can see, the check engine light is flashing. The next thing we're going to want to do is uh, hook up our timing light. Uh, I'm using an Innova 3551A. Um, it's a $30 light on Amazon. I'll link it in the description. Uh, I figured I didn't need anything fancy because I won't be doing this all the time, but uh, it's got three, three parts we're going to attach. Your number one spark plug wire and your positive and your negative. So um, the one thing you want to be careful with when you're attaching to your first uh, first cylinder spark plug wire, which is always the front one on a 22RE, is you don't want to attach it way up here near the distributor. You want to try to get as far away from other wires as possible. There's a small chance you get a bad reading and just kind of a waste of time. So yeah, the first thing we're going to do is uh, attach that. It just kind of clips over. You don't want to like pierce the wire or anything crazy. So there's that. And then we're just going to attach these like you would anything else. Um, don't look at my battery terminals, they're kind of gnarly right now. So on right away we should start getting some flashing. So uh, once that's going, now comes the fun part. So now that we have the idle lowered with our jumpered port, our goal is to have that white mark flashing right in front of the five or somewhere close to it. I have mine advanced just a tiny bit, um, but if it's anywhere below that, um, that's when you want to start making some adjustments. Um, it's not bad to have it advanced a tiny bit, but the goal is to have it, the factory rec recommends five degrees. Now if it's out of whack, we're going to have to adjust the distributor. So we need to make an adjustment to the distributor. This is really simple. You have one 12, meter, 12 millimeter bolt right down here. Just loosen it up a little bit and you want it just enough to move this back and forth. As you're adjusting that, that's gonna move down there. If we move it towards us, or counterclockwise, we're going to advance the timing. If we move it this way, that way, we're going to um, retard it, I guess, or lower it. Um, so yeah, it's one 12 millimeter bolt right here. Move it until you're back down here or five, at five degrees or somewhere close to it. And that's about it, honestly. Once you're done, go over and unjumper your port. And uh, let's do it that right now. Because you need it in focus to see. And you'll be good to go. Uh, I hope that answers some questions for you guys. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty simple thing. I was a little nervous doing it my first time which sounds funny, but uh, it's actually really easy. And uh, 
I was only getting 12 miles a gallon in my truck and that quick little change and I'm up around 20. So definitely worth a look. Uh, thanks for checking out the vid. Y'all have a good one.